Hi everyone, it's time for Wink, because you know thirsty is no way to live. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to see you guys. It means so much to me that you guys take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. I appreciate you guys so much, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today we are doing another wine diary. It is Da da! It's my Wink Wine Club. Thirsty is no way to live. So anyway, this has just been such a fun wine subscription to me. Other than my Vino, that you know, hashtag Nancy would really like the PR for Vino. But anyway, in the meantime, I've got my Vino box that I love and the Wink wine box that I love. And again, I'm going to have a link below that's going to tell you, take you right to the Wink website. Um, it's and once you're on that site, it's going to give you a quick questionnaire about what kinds of foods that you like. From there, they are going to curate a box for you. If you decide that hmm, those wines sound pretty good, I'm going to give it a try. Your first four bottles are going to be $29.95. I would get a free bottle of wine. Thank you so much in advance. And again, if you like it and you come back and you do it the second month, it's going to be $59.95. I again get another free bottle. Thank you very much. Shipping is free. Now when you first sign up for it for the $29.95, if you are a user of Rakuten or Ebates, it's going to pop up and you are going to get $9 cash back. So your first four bottles are going to be $20.95. Now a couple of weeks ago they had triple Ebates weekend, right? So you got $27 off. So if you had used that link that weekend that they had triple, your first four bottles would have been $2.95. I know that, my friends, is amazing. But anyway, so every month they are going to, oh, you, blah, 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 it's in your box. And they are going to give you some recommendations on the different wines that you can choose. You can pick from their recommendations. Or if you know what kind of wines you like, you can pick from any wines that you like from their website. You can buy also from their website at a reduced rate and shipping is free if you get four bottles and uh, yeah so it's just been really really fun now when i go into a store and um which i don't go too often anymore because every time i go out i get sick but you would see like hundreds and hundreds of bottles of wine and it's like i don't know in different regions and blah 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 so i would pick wines based on oh gee that's a really cute name or oh that's a dirty name i like that name or the label was really cute and 9 out of 10, those bottles went down the drain because I did not like them. I have liked every single bottle that they have curated for me. I even picked some wines last month on my own for some fun Halloween names. And I had a blast. I liked every one. So maybe I'm getting better at figuring out what I like. But anyway, let's get into this. Oh, you know, and another thing that um, I always keep forgetting to say. Now, once I put my order in for the month and they'll send me a link back that's going to have all the tasting notes of the different wines that I got. They also are going to give you some recipes. Um, so I just printed out this one here. So if I were to have these red one, the red blend at the top, it's telling me that that would go good with pasta with smoky roasted red pepper sauce and a vegetarian sausage. And once I click on that, I can get the recipe for that. So I may end up doing that sometime, you know, maybe doing that, maybe not the exact recipe, just kind of using what I have in the house, something close. So I may end up doing that in the future. But in the meantime, um, so for this month, um, again, I got four bottles. Two of them are from Africa two are from Italy and the first one we're going to open is from Italy. I know sometimes I struck over this so I started to rip my foil off. This one is a Lambrusco and I haven't had Lambrusco in a while but I think I've always just had like the Reunini Lambrusco and maybe something at the Olive Garden where they put something in your glass but I never remember what it is. So this one is from Italy. It's a sparkling wine. So I, I know the Reuniti isn't, so I'm excited to try this one. 
Alrighty. So I hope everyone is having a great week. This is going to be, well, I'm filming it the first Friday after Halloween. Um, it's probably going to not show till next month. But anyway, so let's try to take this cork out without making a mess. So I brought in one of my champagne flutes. I think it's coming. I usually blink even though I don't know why I blink when I hear that noise. Okay, I think it's coming. I think it's coming. So I hope you're having a great week. You all had a great Halloween with your youngsters and your goblins or if you went to a Halloween party, if you dressed up in costume. Alrighty. We've got it off. I know sometimes this kind of bubbles up on me, so it's a nice, nice deep red. Got some heavy foam here. Alrighty, let's put this down in case it drips. Alrighty. So it is a really nice deep purple. Mmm, it smells like blackberries. Maybe blueberries, maybe strawberries. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Mm. It's dry, but it's, it's kind of slightly sweet. Not semi, it's, it's a weird texture. It's dry. I mean, I can feel it even back here that it's dry. I can taste the blackberry. I can taste maybe strawberry, some blueberry, some kind of spice that I'm not sure what it is. It's dry, but the fruits are just so vivid that it's sweet, but it's dry. I know. I just thought I was getting better at describing. I'm back to square one. I'm just going to have another sip and then we'll tell you what my tasting notes say. Mmm. This is really good. All right. All right. So this is a 2020. It's a Broletto Lambrusco. It's from Regi Reggiano, Italy. It's bubbly, brambly, low alcohol. It's new at the time that I purchased this and printed my notes. And no one had reviewed it yet. No one had rated it. So there's no ratings on it yet. The saying it's a medium body. It's slightly sweet. And the alcohol is 8.5, so it's a very, very low alcohol one. The tasting notes, blackberry, blueberry, spice, and strawberry. It says, this Italian cla classic is perfect, let your hair down, wine, ideal for afternoons al fresco. Broletto is the Italian name for an outdoor gathering place, often surrounded by gardens. And we can't think of a better way to enjoy this off dry, sparkling, red, fizzy, fruity, and packed with personality. You can think of this as wine, as soda pop for grown ups. Aromatic notes of red and dark berries and rhubarb and herbal tea are supported by savory spice and licorice hints. Brightly acidity and soft tannins are balanced with a creamy texture. Take an advantage of the early fall weather and gather your friends and family to share in this fresh and fun Lambrusco. It says to serve it chilled. It pairs well with pizza, pasta, cream sauce, chocolate cake, and fries. So again, just very versatile. Um, you know, you think wine, sometimes you have to have a really good meal, but well, sometimes it's just French fries. It says you can have it with so cheese trays, charcuterie boards, spaghetti, pasta, anything. Now, the recipe that they had with this, if I were to be doing this with the recipe, they suggest having it with a mostly blackberry pie with a hazelnut crumb cup crumb crust so that would be really nice to have a nice pie so I don't really know about blackberry pie but um maybe a blueberry pie with a crumb topping would be good for this so anyway we will see you next week when we do bottle number two
Hi everyone, welcome back to bottle number two from my Wink Wine Club. Thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending part of your Friday night with me. So we are going to try to get right into this to try to keep these a little shorter. So this is going to be a new wine for me. It is so new to Wink that it has not even been rated yet. So one of the first people to try it. This is a red blend from Italy. It's got a really cute dragonfly right there on the corner. And that's an Italian red blend and it says... Rosso Convento organic wine, Pisolato must be maybe the winery, and contains no detectable sulfites. It also says you should serve this decanted. So I poured a little bit out into my glass. It was just a screw cap, got that back on tight to keep it fresh, and just uh, letting it aerate here in my glass. So it's kind of swirl this around a little bit, get some more air in there, let those fragrances, the aromas release like the kraken right so anyway i hope everyone is having a fabulous fabulous week it's over if you have the weekend off i hope you get to do something fun and just not do laundry and housework things like that so it is a really nice deep purple color it coats my glass but not as much as i see in some other ones i can definitely smell cherry could be raspberry, could be strawberry. It's kind of like something on that end. And I'm also picking up something kind of earthy like a leather. And it reminds me of when we went to a leather shop that made some custom horse saddles and bridles and belts and things like that. And they custom made Rick a bra, we'll call it, for his gas tank on his, um, his ultra, whatever, on his bike. Because um, it was... He was getting ready to, he was, he had been riding it, but he was getting fitted for a prosthetic leg, which was going to have metal hinges and things like that. And he was worried that getting his leg up and over that tank, he was going to scratch it because, you know, if it was me, I would be crying and whining and feel, feeling sorry for myself that I cut my leg off and I'm going to have a prosthetic leg. And he's like, I don't care about my leg. I just don't want to scratch the bike. Men have different priorities, I'll tell you. But that's what the sensation I get is walking into that leather shop and just all the different smells. Alrighty. It, I know it doesn't sound like it's an exciting smell, but just when it comes to wine, I think that helps give it the tannins and the body, things like that. Alrighty. Cheers. Hmm. This has got... A really nice texture um it's not smooth and velvety but it does have i'm going to say like a medium body um it's got really light soft tannins you notice that it's dry when you first put it in but it dissipates so fast from the acidity probably from the cherries and it's got a sweet finish so you get that dryness when you first put it in and then as you swallow it you just have a sweet aftertaste you can really taste the cherries something kind of smoky in here um and again something earthy i'm thinking leather but maybe it's spices something like that but it is a really nice flavor so i'm gonna have one more sip cheers everyone Yeah, this is really nice. It's a light wine. It's got a sweet finish. So it is dry, but it does have that sweet finish. You can really kind of taste that, taste that cherry at the end. Alrighty, let me get my cheat notes. Alrighty, so this is a 2020. It's a Pisolato Rosso Convento Red Blend. It's from Veneto, Italy. They say it's bold, smoky, and organic. It's got a medium body sweetness they say dry alcohol is 12 percent it says tasting notes of bacon cherry leather and raspberry and when i maybe that's why when i have like that smoky kind of sensation maybe that's what the bacon is maybe the bacon is like a smoked or a hickory flavored bacon and maybe that's what gives it kind of that smoky kind of flavor i don't know but it says it's a natural Merlot Cabernet blend that's organic, vegan, and has no detectable sulfates. It says the humble dragonfly has been a symbol of many cultures over the years of strength, of courage, of happiness. Dragonflies are uniquely sensitive to the environment around them. Um, so let's go down a little bit. So it says the Pizzolato family has produced 
has been producing wine for five generations on their plot of land in the Veneto, north of Trevisio. They have always used organic production methods, uh, cultivating the exact type of environment in which not only dragonflies, but all types of flora and fauna can thrive. It's a 50% Cabernet Sauvignon and 50% Merlot. It's a medium bodied red that has abundant notes of jammy fruit, leather and dried herbs. A hint of earth and fine grain tannins make this a delight to pair with red sauce that's packed with ripe vegetables from the garden. It says how to serve it decant, pairs well with pork, Mexican pasta with red sauce and barbecue. So I think this is a really, it's another great wine I'm going to enjoy having. It's gonna take me a little bit of while to finish this. I'm glad it's got a nice screw on type cap. And yeah, so we will see you guys next week when we do bottle number three. Hi everyone, welcome back for bottle number three of my Wink Wine Club. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do these videos. I love seeing you guys every Friday. It just is amazing and it means so much to me. So anyway, get moving right into this to try to shorten it up. I've got this opened already and this is a 2020 Syrah Sister Snake and it's from the Western Cape, South Africa. Got a nice label here. Alrighty, and it should be served warm. I had it in the refrigerator, so I did take it out a couple of hours ago. And then I poured it in my glass not too long ago just to kind of aerate it a bit, help it warm up a little bit. Sometimes when the glass is, um, when your wine is, is warmed up, those flavors just kind of come alive a little bit more. Alrighty, so let's shake this around a little bit get some air in there aerate a little bit get those fragrances to release and see what we can sniff all right so i'm getting something tart back here like cranberry but something sweet like a cherry and maybe clove all righty cheers everyone hmm being warm just kind of brings those taste alive even more you can do taste the tartness of the cranberry back here but i think it's offset by the cherry so it's kind of like not tart 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 but not sweet sweet they kind of offset each other just enough spicy in here so i think that's a clove that i'm tasting i'm not picking up like any um, barrel aging, I'm not picking up like cedar or oak or anything like that. It's just a crisp taste. It's still a dry wine, but you do kind of taste those fruits a little bit. All right, it's a nice texture. It's not real smooth and velvety, but it does have a nice texture. Seems like a perfect sipping wine, a nice dinner wine. Going to have one more sip to confirm. Hmm. Alrighty, yeah, this is a really nice wine. So anyway, um, my notes. It's a 2020 Sister Snake Syrah from the Western Cape, South Africa. Out of the 1,997 people that tasted this and rated it, it got 3.9 out of 5. It says it's robust, jammy, and dark. A medium body, dry, and 13% alcohol. Tasting notes of anise, clove, cranberry and dark cherry it says sister snake is a spicy meaty savory syrah that celebrates the variety the western cape region of south africa is a wild lamb that's just tameable enough to produce some knockout wines um it says it was aged in stainless steel barrels so that is why i did not pick up any like oak or seed or anything like that it just kind of keeps the crispness of the fruit um, it says it's a fantastic representation of balance with its dark berry fruit tempered by a dollop of savory spice. It's perfectly crafted wine that's ideal for where 
wherever your next adventure takes you. It says you should serve this at room temperature. It pairs well with Thai pasta with red sauce, barbecue, and lamb. So another great wine from my Wink Wine Club. Thanks so much for joining me, and we will see you next week when we do bottle number four. Welcome back everyone. Can you believe it's another Friday night and we are here for bottle number four of my Wink Wine Club. I am having so much fun with this subscription. It's the best thing I ever did. Yeah, well, I've, I've done better things than that. But anyway, it's the funnest thing that I've done in a long time. I'll tell you that. So anyway, the bottle this, this week, it is from the Cape of South Africa. It's called Cape Root. It is a 2020 not going to focus but it's a 2020 Pinotage from West Cape Western Cape and I was looking at the back because I was trying to figure out if it was going to tell me what the blend was if it was a red blend I'm assuming it is a red blend but on the back it says it says from the Shaley drylands of Swartland the Pinotage was soaked on skins for eight days to illuminate brilliant flavors of menthol blackberry and fig. Alrighty. Never noticed that before, but I don't always read the back of the labels because it's small print. But anyway, I have had several wines since I've had Wink from Cape Root, different varietals from this, but I have loved every single one. So anyway, I'm excited to try this. So anyway, I this, I'm filming it the Friday before Thanksgiving week. It'll probably post the Friday after Thanksgiving. So I am hoping to get some trees up this weekend. So I've got the one in the office that I work from home in, so I wanna put that small one in there. I wanna put the big one up in my living room, and it takes me a while because I need a step ladder to get to the top. And I bought a third one that I wanna put right over here. It's like maybe a three to four foot, three to four foot tree that I've never had a tree that looks like that before so I'm looking forward to decorating that this was just a screw cap by the way and then of course on Rick's birthday on the 19th I will be putting up his inspiration tree so we're gonna it's gonna be like tree land okay back to wink so this is uh, oh it's a really it doesn't look it on camera but it is a deep deep purple this has got some really, it's really coating the glass. I've got some nice deep legs. That tells me it's got a higher alcohol content. It's going to swirl this around in the glass a bit. Let it aerate a little bit more. Get those flavors to release. Alrighty. Hope you guys had a great week. Looking forward to a great weekend. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go in a little bit deeper. I think I smell blueberry, maybe blackberry. Some kind of spice. I don't know what it is. Alrighty. So anyway, I'm ready for a sip. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. This, it's a nice dry wine. It still has the acidity from the fruits so that's going to kick in as it starts to get to the back of your mouth. Before you swallow it, the acid from the fruits kind of kick in. Your mouth waters a little bit. I can still taste the dryness. It's still coating the inside of my mouth. It's really, really flavorful. It's got some nice soft, soft tannins in here, and but it's just a really nice silky texture. I can tell it's a higher alcohol content than some of the others. So anyway, let's see what it says for my cheat sheets. Alrighty, so this is a 2020 Cape Root Pinotage. It's from Western Cape, South Africa. Out of the 6,056 people that have tasted this and rated it, it's got a 3.6 out of 5. It says it's silky, brambly, and exotic. Okay, so it's got medium body, dry, 14% alcohol. Not real high, but a little bit higher than some of them. Tasting notes of anise. That's what I couldn't pinpoint. I knew it was something. Blueberry, raspberry, and tomato leaf. I think that kind of adds a little bit to the acidity too. Tomatoes usually have a higher acid content. Um, and again, it comes from um, 
South Africa. I'm just going to scroll down here to keep it a little shorter. So it says, this Pinotage is a silky red that's bursting with red and black fruit notes with a touch of spice. Just like the meandering scenic road it's named for, a stretch of the longest wine route on earth, Cape Route is one of South Africa's best kept secrets. How to serve it? It says serve at room temperature or slightly chilled. It pairs well with pork, Mexican cheeses, and barbecue. So anyway, that is it for my fourth bottle from my 10th box. I had two from South Africa. I had two from Italy. I really enjoyed it. I wasn't really sure when I had that Lambrusco. It was a little bit bubbly and I kind of I wasn't too sure. I mean, I liked the flavor, but I wasn't too sure about the bubbles. It kind of made it taste more like a soda. But, um, of course, I put the cap on, stuck it back in the refrigerator. And I actually had some a couple of nights ago. And it didn't really go flat, flat, but it wasn't as bubbly as it was. And you could really taste the flavors better. And I did like it a lot better. I hope if they make something like that again, maybe it's just not um, the sparkling version. But anyway, I have loved everything that I've been taking so far. Again, my link is going to be below. If you are interested in trying this, if you use my link, your first four bottles are going to be $29.95. If you have a Rakuten Ebates account, you're going to get $9 off. But, you know, Labor Day weekend, they had triple cash back on the Rakuten Ebates. So that $9 turned to $27. If you had signed up that weekend and you had the Rakuten Ebates, your first four bottles would have been $2.95. I know. That's amazing. Kind of made me want to think up a new name and a whatever and make a fake account for $2.95 to get four bottles of wine. I know. That would have been great. And of course, if you do that, I get a free bottle of wine. So anyway, and of course, after that, your next four bottles would be $59.95. And again, I would get a free bottle. Yeah, it's a great country. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. Uh, you're going to be seeing this after Thanksgiving, but maybe you are still traveling where you are. Maybe you've got an extended vacation and you're going to just spend some time with your family, your friends, your loved ones. I hope everyone had a super fast fantastic thanksgiving i hope you're having fun take care everyone stay safe be kind enjoy life have some fun i love you guys so much thanks for stopping in and we will see you in our next video bye